starting a first day in Cambodia with a run along the river. has arrived. Tony! Yes. <laughs> so Tony, what do we do today? Uh, what, what, what do you want to see first? I don't know. Genocide Museum, uh, and then uh, Killing Field. After Killing Field, we go into uh, Royal Palace. Okay. Ah, yeah. Because uh, Royal Palace, uh, they, uh, the morning, they close 11 o'clock, but afternoon, they open. Oh. At 2 o'clock. Okay. Oh, okay. You're the boss. <laughs> So hey there, our first stop for the day is at the Genocide Museum. You just saw the entrance and uh, did a little bit of research and just 40 something years ago, genocide took place, which was, they eliminated like one quarter of the Cambodian population. They killed about 2 million people and they were uh, some uh, communist faction of something. I don't know the whole history. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot of it right now. But think about that. Two million people were killed just 40 years ago. So we'll be going in.
What do you think, Kim? Pretty intense, pretty sad. So I think they estimate um, <clears throat> 12 to 20,000 people died there. And when they finally came back, I think there were like 12 survivors and 14 bodies or 12 bodies. But the uh, definitely something, if you don't know anything about it, you should because I think it's good learning opportunity for everybody. So we're at our second stop. It's the Chong Ek Genocidal Center. I think this, this might the be killing the killing fields. fields. So we'll share with you what we can when we're in there. So we're going to the Royal Palace in Phnom Penh, and two things, we have to wear masks, and Kim had this nice shawl that we wear to Buddhist temples everywhere around the world, yeah. but here she must wear a $3 t-shirt with <laughs> sleeves, so no getting around that rule here. Yeah, don't forget your mask. <laughs> <laughs> The, the this is, uh, this is their, uh, the Buddha police. tree because Buddha was supposedly born underneath a tree like this. Yes. But they also call it the cannonball tree the because of days. those things right there. <laughs> yeah, that's I think right. uh, it goes mm -hmm. without explaining. Mm -hmm, yeah. Cool. Nice flowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we can see the big pagoda here. You see the big one here? So this one here, that is the secret pagoda. This one here. So that one, it used called to keep the king's ashes inside. Mm. See the king's ashes? For well, one silver for each king, yep. but not for every king, only the good one. <laughs> <laughs> Who determines the good one? The, the people. Ah. So this is the king, uh, the Sihanu. I mean, yes. the father of the current king. He oh, got okay. a six wife and 14 children. That's him inside. One place here, that's the stables. Okay. For the albino elephants. But now they die because the chimera ate them all.
her procession. But when the Khmer Rouge were here, they killed them and they ate them. Kids ate them. That is the right fact. So now we make a, we did a concrete, the elephant like this, and they painted white to represent the real one in the past. So we just went through the Royal Palace and it was $10 each to get in. And they offered tour guide services for an extra $10, which we took them up on. And I think it sped everything up a little bit. And we probably learned a lot more than we would have if we went along. Would you agree, Kim? So would you agree that the tour guide was a good $10 spent? Say what, I can't hear you? I think it was good. All right. So coming from Kim, she thought it was good. So our day is not done yet. We are headed to the Aeon One Shopping Center or Mall. There's actually three of them here in Phnom Penh, but we're hungry and there is no restaurant at our hotel. So that's what we're doing. We took a tuk tuk. So we're at the Aeon One Mall. This isn't gonna be a mall video at all. Just to show you around a little bit because we've got to get eating. Our uh, tuk-tuk driver, they do it a little different here. He's waiting for us. So he drove us here, he's waiting for an hour, and then he's gonna drive us back for $7. My guess is we could have done it for half that price, but how do you argue with seven bucks? So, we found the food. It's up here on the third floor. Oh, but they have a salad bar, Kim. Yeah. Oh, look at all the food. So, Kim, what did you just say? They have nice salads over there. Cool, so this is an all-you-can-eat chicken soup buffet for about eight dollars. <laughs> 